What's going on guys, Mark here from Union Martial Arts, here again with another Technique Tuesday. So in this video, we're continuing right where we left off from the last one. Once we get our opponent to the ground, we're going to learn how to get into a couple locks, as well as some transitions from lock to lock. And we're going to show you some different angles so you can see where exactly you're going to place your hands, place your legs, so on and so forth. So without further ado, let's get training. Alright guys, so for this Technique Tuesday, we're picking up where we left off from last week. If you guys don't know how to get to the position we're about to get into, Click the link up here, it'll guide you right to the flow from the standing position all the way to the ground. Alright, so what we're going to do is have Guru Sam lie down. Right after the takedown, you should be in this position right here. I'm going to have his right arm, and I'm also going to put my right knee right onto his ribs. Okay, as I do this, I want to make sure that all my weight is pushing down here, crushing him, making sure it's very difficult for him to breathe. Alright, so lock number one, I have my left hand grabbing his right. I'm going to take my right arm, I'm going to check. My left leg will serve as a table. I'm gonna go over his arm and clear. And that should be my first lock here, okay? The beauty of this is my right hand is free, so if I had a firearm, a carry, a secondary weapon, I can pull it out and use it to finish the job. Okay, so from this position, our transition will be my left hand goes from a clear to a grab. Okay, very simple, left hand is over, clear is from underneath. I'm gonna grab right around the wrist and around the thumb. I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna take my right leg, I'm gonna step over onto his left shoulder, okay? As I push down, it's gonna cause him to turn. I'm gonna bring my left leg over and rotate, okay? Locking him in between my legs, that's two hands free now. All right, so normally for this transition, I'd be standing nice and tall, but from this hands-free position to retain the hand, I'm gonna take my left hand, grab the thumb once again, Step over with my right leg, clearing it. Now, before I step over with my left leg, I'm gonna switch my hands. Right hand goes to the pinky. Okay, once I establish that, I'm gonna take my left leg, I'm gonna step on the back of his right shoulder, okay? I'm gonna step on it and through. That's gonna make sure that his chest is pinned to the ground. Take a knee on my right knee, and I'm gonna crank this. I'm gonna go one, left hand. It's gonna pull under the table that I draw again. Two. I'm gonna bend the wrist and push it into him. So, crank, push, that's your lock. Okay, so from this position, I call this checking my six. Basically what I'm gonna do is very simple. I'm gonna stand up, switch knees, crank under my right table, push down with my left hand, and lock on the other side. Okay, same thing as I did on the previous lock, this time, I'm just looking behind. All right, so breaking down the transition from lock one, going to lock two. When I take my right leg, I'm gonna use my heel and step right onto his left shoulder. When I do that, all I wanna do is cause him to turn, okay? I don't want him to be on his chest just yet. The way I get him to his chest is when I walk over with my left leg, it drags him over, and that allows me to dig my right heel right into his body. It's gonna serve as a good base. Now I'm gonna twist clockwise, and I'm still gonna maintain a grip. Okay, don't let go of it, because if you do, his hand's gonna drop. So I wanna make sure that I still have it up along my thigh, and as I twist, I'm gonna drag it nice and tight. I wanna feel it tighten up, and there's a lock. If I need it to break, if I want it to finish from here, I just continue it, or I go right into the flow. All right guys, so that wraps up this Technique Tuesday. I hope you guys liked the video. If you guys enjoyed the partner tutorials that we've been going over, make sure you comment below, let us know, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Also, never be late on our tutorials. Please get that notification bell going. Make sure you guys tack that on so you can know every Tuesday as soon as we're live, you guys can watch it. Anyways, thank you guys for watching once again. Catch you guys next time.